Thanks, Shelby. As we go through the day, we'll start seeing the scope of the destruction down in Florida. It was clear early on that tornadoes became one of the biggest concerns. Nikel has been putting together some of the latest damage reports and has video to join with it. Hey, good morning, Neil. Yeah, so the tornado warning started popping all over South Florida before Milton even made landfall. The sheriff's office in St. Lucie County is confirming multiple fatalities this morning. Multiple structures are damaged in a mobile home park in the Lake Placid area of Highlands County by an apparent tornado. This county is in the middle of the state to the east of Sarasota. The tornado touched down Wednesday afternoon and there were no major injuries being reported at this point. There are also reports of a tornado on Florida's east coast, including in Martin County. The sheriff's office shared this video of a neighborhood with torn up buildings. Injuries ranging from minor to serious have been also reported according to Martin County Fire Rescue. The sheriff's office itself in nearby St. Lucie County was also hit. About 10 minutes ago, a tornado came ripping through here. This is a devastating tornado. It took out that 10,000 square foot red iron building with uh, all of our patrol cars underneath it. Thankfully, nobody was in there at the time. Um, this thing came through and took this out within a moment. And as nighttime fell, the powerful winds from Hurricane Milton became the new concern following the tornadoes earlier in the day. This video showing a large crane, constru uh, a construction crane there collapsing onto a street, and this was in St. Petersburg. Residents were told overnight to continue sheltering in place because it was not safe to travel on the roadways. Nikki.